To get to your Gmail settings from your inbox, click on the cog icon in the upper right hand corner. Then you want to choose See All Settings. There are several tabs across the top. We're only going to focus on a couple here in this video. So underneath the General tab, let's first look at the Send options. So the first one is the Undo Send. By default, you are only given 5 seconds, but I would suggest changing this to 30. What this does is over here, I have an email already opened. When I click this Send button, you'll see down here in the bottom corner, this option shows up for me to undo. If you have it on five seconds, you only get five seconds to quickly do this. So 30 gives you a little bit more of an opportunity to go, you know what, ooh, I left something off of that email or I changed my mind on sending it and choose undo. Keep in mind, if the person forwards their Gmail to another account, they will still get that initial email. You're only undoing the send to the Gmail inbox. So let's go back and look at another setting. The next one is the send and archive. By default, it's on hide, send, and archive. I would suggest changing it to show, send, and archive. So what that does is when you're on an email here and you go to reply to somebody, you have this option here of send still, which means when I click on send, the original email stays in my inbox still. If I choose this option, send and archive, as soon as I click this, the email now goes, sends to my person I sent it to, and it's archived and no longer in my inbox. Can I still search for it? Absolutely, it's still in your all mail inbox, but it's just not in the inbox anymore. This is also great if you're sending an email off to ask someone a question, it's out of your inbox. When they reply back to you, it's gonna come back into your inbox. This is a great way to keep your inbox clean. As soon as you've read something, you just send and archive it back to the person, or right up on top, you can just archive the email as well. Default reply behavior is another one I suggest changing. I would suggest choosing the reply option. This way that becomes your default. With all the settings that you change, make sure that you scroll to the bottom and you click on save changes down here. Otherwise your changes will not save. So let's look at what that reply all is. So you have this email that was sent to everybody. Anytime an email is sent to more than one person, you will see the reply all option come up. But up here is your quick reply. So notice mine's automatically defaulted to reply. So I have to actually make effort to either click these three dots and choose reply to all, or choose the reply all option here. When replying all, make sure that the information, the email that you're sending actually needs to go back to everybody in the email chain. Otherwise that becomes really annoying to those who don't need to see your responses. So by having that reply default set, it makes it super easy when you click this reply button to make sure you're only responding to the original person. So definitely take some time to come into your Gmail settings and check out all the other options in here. Remember, you can change them back at any time um, and don't forget to click that save button at the bottom.